Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with each version of Windows, as many of you may know, that Microsoft releases, to some extent or the other, they add new features and functionality. And a good example of this would be the recently released Moment 4 and 23H2 feature updates for Windows 11. But also from time to time with these new versions, they also remove features and functionality because a lot of these features are legacy features, so they get uh, replaced in most cases with newer options. Now, already we have spoken on the channel about Microsoft debloating Windows, where already they have deprecated a Cortana on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Another example would be that WordPad, the legacy note-taking app, is also soon to be removed, and I posted on that as well, and I'll leave that video down below if you'd like to play catch-up. And then even last week, as I mentioned uh, in the Canary Channel build video that I posted, build 25987, which rolled out to the insiders, uh, the maps and movies and TV apps are no longer pre-installed on Windows 11. So Microsoft slowly but surely trying to uh, de-bloat uh, the Windows OS, which I think, and I'm sure you would agree with me, is a nice move. Now, just to let you know about three more features that Microsoft is deprecating since version 23H2 rolled out last week for Windows 11. And this applies, these three features apply to Windows 10 and Windows 11, in case you are interested. Now, they are not front-facing features. In fact, they are three services um, which Microsoft has deprecated under the hood, so to speak. But nonetheless, uh, they are still an indication that Microsoft is trying to debloat Windows as a whole. Now, to get to services, just to demonstrate, um, if you don't know how to get there, we just head to our search, enter services, and head over to the services page and menu. And the three services now that Microsoft um, has removed are the computer browser service, web client service, and remote mail slots service. Now, the main reason Microsoft has deprecated these three services is, at the end of the day, they are posing a security risk to the OS. And the first one, which has been completely removed, is the computer browser uh, or the browser and protocol service, which Microsoft says is a dated and insecure device location protocol. This protocol, they say, service and driver were first disabled by default in Windows 10 with the removal of the SMB1 service. So that's the first one. That's, that's no more. Then the next one is uh, the remote mail slots service. And Microsoft say the remote mail slot protocol is a dated, simple, unreliable, insecure RPC method first introduced in MS-DOS. So, I mean, that was introduced decades ago, so we can see why they've deprecated that. And then the last service hasn't actually been deprecated, but it's been a, a disabled, and that's the web client service. So, if we head right down to the bottom, just to locate that, uh, web client, that's... Here we go, web client service. We can see now that it's no longer started automatically with Windows. In fact, it's now a manual triggered start where Microsoft says the web client service isn't started by default in Windows. So this, although these aren't front-facing features, still it is Microsoft de-bloating the OS mainly because of security issues. But I'm going to take that one step further. And the reason I'm happy about this is because obviously those services were not really used that much anymore because they were quite legacy, as mentioned. And that means now we have got three less services running in the background on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So that's three less services taking up system resources, which I always think is a nice move. But nonetheless, just wanted to point that out. And I always think that any um, unnecessary feature that Microsoft does remove from both Windows 10 and Windows 11, in my opinion, is a nice indication that they are debloating the Windows OS to some extent or the other, which is a nice move in the right direction. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.